Recently, we flew from our home in Kalbayag City in the province of Samar back to our home in Guam. This ended our third trip to the Philippines in the past year. While every trip we make home to Samar is something that we look forward to, our stays there never last as long as we need them to. We seem to always run out of time to get accomplished the things that we want to get done. Arriving back in Guam on a Saturday morning, we couldn't wait for Monday to roll around, said no one ever, and return to our normal routine as we look to get some things done on this end of our turnaround. While it's always exciting to exchange one paradise for another, each location offers us a change of pace and provides us with the cultural values we have come to cherish living in Southeast Asia, including complete tropical similarities. But before I get into any of that, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish my missus a happy 38th wedding anniversary. It was 40 years ago that I met Terry, and we sure have accomplished a lot together over all these years. Today, she's on the grill, cooking us a couple of good celebratory ribeyes for lunch. It doesn't get any better than that. One of the things I've been planning on doing for quite a while now is to replace the steel rims on my truck with some alloy wheels that won't rust. When living on a tropical island, one of the things we all have to deal with is the salt air environment. Not long ago, one of my rims rusted out from the inside, creating a leak. A good friend of mine took the rim to his welding class and had it brazed and all was good, but it would just be a matter of time before all the other rims would suffer the same fate. So. I went shopping for some new wheels. I hit up a place here in Guam called Proline where the sales staff was just as good looking as the rim selection. You can see here that I had a lot of options when it came to styles and sizes and I almost pulled the trigger on some larger rims and tires but I decided to stay a little bit more on the conservative side, at least for now. After consulting with the experts here and browsing through the large inventory, finally made a selection and now all I had to do was get them mounted. This would be one of those times where I missed the low cost of labor in the Philippines. Here in Guam, mountain balance charges came out to about $140. It's finally a relief to put my fears on leaking rims behind me. Now I can move on to some other restoration projects with this 2011 model Ranger. The next project is to replace the roof cab molding and have this dent repaired. The main issue with installing these trim pieces is that the headliner needs to be removed as they are bolted to the roof from the inside. The next day we headed to a friend's house to pick some santal. Santal, or cotton fruit, is a tropical fruit native to maritime Southeast Asia. Santal has a mild and sour peachy taste combined with a pulpy texture of apples. My experience is that the outer rind is a bit denser than an apple and the inner whitish pulp around the seeds is soft it can often be on the sweet side. This day we picked close to 15 kilos of santal. We kept some for ourselves and we gave the rest away to friends. In the Philippines, santal is used to make dishes such as sinantalan, milkfish sinagang, and in Thailand, they call, it, uh, they call this dish samtam. And before we knew it, we were right back into the swing of things in our Thursday night bowling league. Officially, it's called the Family Fun League, but we all know it's really the Filipino Fun League. And this is where all our freshly picked Santa all disappeared at. All that I know is we'll get older, older. All that I know is we'll get older. So let us dance this side away. Oh, Earlier in this video, I mentioned all the similarities between Guam and the Philippines. The greatest commonality of all is, of course, culture. While Guam is considered in the Far East, its culture is typically Southeast Asian. 
with Filipinos making up the second largest demographic group next to Chamorro on the island. It's the Spanish influence over centuries of rule that has definitely molded this island paradise into what it is today. From family values to food, from the weather to the laid-back lifestyle, Guam offers us everything the Philippines can, and more, but it does come with a higher cost of living and a price tag. The one thing that has become the most critical element at our age is health care. While the Philippines can provide some excellent health care in select locations like Manila, Cebu, and possibly Davao, it likely would not come without some hefty out-of-pocket costs. Serious quality of medical care in the Philippines can get rather expensive when you are without insurance. Here in Guam, Terry and I are now both Medicare eligible. And we do have all the necessary supplemental insurances that we need to cover any out-of-pocket costs and any prescription medicines that we may need. Since the month of August is generally when I schedule my annual physical, this time around I pulled out all the stops with a complete full physical with full blood and urine workups, checking out my liver and kidney functions along with that dreaded colonoscopy. I've gotten you the most important gift a man your age can get. You're getting a colonoscopy. Oh, that's wonderful. Pardon me for a moment. Colonoscopy is an endoscopic examination of the large... Oh, I Since I've been having some recurring issues with my lower back, I also underwent two MRIs, an ultrasound, a set of x-rays, and some pain management relief for low back pain. I also have another neurology consult set up in a few weeks to determine whether if a spinal stimulator implant could be in my future. With a total of 11 visits behind me to doctors and clinics this month, I might not look as good as my restored Ford Ranger pickup, but I'm feeling like a freshly polished, fully oiled Tin Man in the land of Oz, with a full can of oil at the ready. And all any of us can ever hope for is at least a few more trips around our solar system. Or at a very minimum, at least one more trip to the beach. I know you better 